I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and um, I want to tell you a lesson that can be learned from two great men. <clears throat> One is um, Menachem Mendel of Kotsk, the Kotsk Rebbe. At the end, of the other one is Harav Yitzhak of Forke. Both great um, uh, righteous people, tzaddikim, um, Hasidic rabbis, uh, Hasidic uh, rabbis of, um, of great distinction. They differed in their approach to serving God. Uh, that Menachem Mendel of Kotz, the Kotzka Rebbe, would tend to uh, seclude himself, isolate himself, take him, take himself out of the community and separate himself. Uh, whereas um, uh, Rav Yitzhak of Vorka was exa exactly the opposite. He was often um, socializing with his Hasidim, his followers, sometimes um, having a drink, dancing joyously, opposite approaches. One Sabbath, one Shabbos, the Kotzka Rebbe and the Rav Yitzhak of Vorke happened to meet. It was on a, a, a Shabbos, Parshas Truma. Uh, Parshas Truma is uh, uh, in Book of Exodus, chapter 25, 26, part, uh, the 27 part of, it deals with um, God instructing Moses to take uh, gifts, contributions, uh, offerings from the people to build the Mishkan, the tabernacle that, uh, that the Jewish people um, carried around uh, with them, installing it, uninstalling it um, for the 40 years in the, in the wilderness. Rabbi Yitzhak said to the Kotzka Rebbe, um, why do you remove yourself? Why do you seclude yourself from your uh, uh, Hasidim, why do you, you? It's not that you ignore them. You just like you, you're not with them. You, you, you take yourself apart. Why is that? Because Rebbe says, well, my approach is alluded to in this very parsha, parsha's trauma, verse two of chapter twenty-five, where it says, "And they shall take for me a portion from every man." Whose heart motivates him. This, this posak, this verse, Exodus 25, 2, that's where I get my, the way I serve God. It says, they shall take for me, Lee, they take for me uh, a portion. Chazal, our sages, um, infer from this verse that you must act solely for Hashem's sake. If one seeks to serve the Creator correctly, he must make a truma, a gift, a contribution, an, an offering um, of himself, uplifting and raising himself above and out of the community from every man whose heart motiv uh, motivates him, remove yourself from, uh, from the community, and separate yourself even from the finest, most virtuous and generous people. Only then, says the Kotzka Rebbe, can we serve Lee, me. Rabbi Yitzhak counters. He says, it's funny you should mention that, because my method of serving God is also from this very same verse, Exodus 25.2. It's implied. If you want to serve God, you should bring a truma, a gift, a contribution, um, a portion, an offering, from every man whose heart motivates him. I take the good from all men. Every person has a positive aspect. With one person, it's generosity. Another one, it's, it's kindness. Another person, it's his ability to, to study uh, Torah and learn. Another one is uh, his kavana, his... Uh, his uh, his spiritual intent is uh, is very good. Another one is, is uh, can motivate people. Another one uh, can makar of people, bring people closer to God. Every person has 
this positive aspect. For some, it's a character trait. For others, everything, everyone's different. The only way, Rabbi Yitzhak is saying, the only way I can gather and garner these, uh, these good qualities, these gifts, is by being among the people, talking to them, listening to them, interacting with them. I take these gifts from among the people, and that's and is that's how I uh, that's how I serve God by uh, by bringing out uh, the good in people, and uh, these are my offerings, these are my contributions. Two great men, two completely different um, approaches to serving God, both from the same verse. So, um, who's right? The answer to, uh, to that, as with so many questions, is it depends. It depends. It depends on the person. It depends on you. It depends on how you feel you can best serve God. Is it by removing yourself, by uh, concentrating on your own qualities, by mixing in with people, usually it's a blend of both. Things are rarely black and white. Sometimes they are, but sometimes they're not. Uh, usually they're not. Um, so um, in anything you do, be true to yourself, be honest, and find the best way that you can to serve God. Make that your truma. Make that your, uh, your gift, your contribution, your portion. To the Creator and to this world, make the world a better place by being the person that God intends you to be. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Mono Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.